So I have had a lot of requests on programming the HC06 without the AT button. So today we will be using DSD Tech's Bluetooth Tools application available from their website. You will choose HC, HC06 and you will then hook up your device. What I have is the device here and a serial Bluetooth sorry um, USB slash TTL over serial over USB converter cord. This can be used as a data logger in itself and then also to program and send AT commands to the HC06. So let me start off by hooking this up real quick. I'll be right back. It is very simple. On the bottom of the device you will see that we have power ground TX and RX. So power and ground are going to be on the right side facing up. So we'll be right back. All right, so here I have the device with our power ground TX and RX. Um, if I do have TX and RX backwards, it will not damage anything. It just will not communicate. So we're just going to try green as our TX and white as our RX here. So next, what you'll need to do is plug in your USB to serial slash TTL. You then will see that the device has power and has begun to blink. What you'll then need to do is go into your device manager, right click on the Windows logo, choose device manager, and we are going to search for com ports com slash lpt printer reports whatever. So profile profilific USB to serial com port six. Uh, this is these two below here are what show up after you connect the device to the computer through Bluetooth. It opens up two ports over Bluetooth serial. See, we then will open up these settings, go to port settings, and I choose to max out the speed of the port because then we won't be limited on speed. It'll use every speed below the speed just fine. So in order to prove that theory, we'll say OK, minimize. We will then choose the port here. We do know it is COM7. And we do know that the units come out of the box with a default of 9600. We then want to open the port. It says it does not exist. So usually what I've seen is when you have a any kind of character after the COM port number, it's not correct. So this is this isn't grabbing the ports. It's saying COM six. I could have sworn that the COM port was okay. That's right. So COM port six. That's my fault. Ninety six hundred. And we still have a fast blinking light. And all I'm going to be doing is clicking open. Now we have a successfully opened connection. Now we will test to make sure it is indeed talking to the unit by clicking test. It's showing that it's sending out a command, but it's not receiving it. So we will choose to close, reopen test, but we do not get success. So what we'll do then is come back to our COM port. We will lock down our speed 
to 9600. We will reopen the port and test communication. We're still not, we're still not getting a command back here from this unit. So what we'll do is swap the wires for TX and RX right now. All right, so now that our wires are swapped, now we are in the configuration where we have TX as white, RX as green. We want to close the COM port, reopen the COM port, test, and we get an OK. So that lets us know we're still talking to the unit, but it is still flashing because the, you will not see the light change during an AT command. It's always in a mode where it can receive AT commands with an HC06. So, to prove my other theory, port settings, max the port out. Oh gosh. Open the port here, test the port, and we still get a receive OK. So now we're needing to program. Yeah. I'm not sure what happened there. I guess I slipped over the mouse. I'll just take the device and set it off to the side here. So now we need to change. I like to select all this. I'm just going to name it data logger. I'll then change the speed to our desired 38400. And we're going to leave the password as 1234. So let's choose to set the name. And we get an OK that lets us know it took the change. We then, since we're not actually changing the password, we won't set that, but we will set the speed, 38400 set. And we have a receive OK. You then want to close the port and power off the device. I just unplug the USB. Plug the USB back in. We can then test for changes by trying to reconnect with the unit through COM6 at a speed of 38400. Open the port and test communication with the device, which we get OK. If we were to try to talk to the device now at a speed of 9600, we would get no communication. So that confirms that we are indeed operating at the baud rate of 38400. So now I will choose to search for the device. I'm going to add a Bluetooth device. Put the first one on the list. Unknown device appears. Names should show up. We have data logger. All right, so uh, that lets us know that we did in fact change the name and the speed of this device. So now, so now let's go test it out in the car. So we have the Data logger, data logger now hooked up to the ECU here. Sorry, I got a message on my computer or my phone. <laughs> um, so now we'll have two interview open up here on this phone. And we'll connect to this data logger. So since this phone has never been connected to this data logger, we'll go into the
devices here. We'll have it scan. Okay. Let me uh, cycle the key here. All right, pair with the device. We'll switch over to tuner view. Choose to connect. We're going to connect to data logger. We should see that light get solid, which we do. And then, in my situation, and this will be needed for you as well so I have a demon I'm just going to choose ECU tune without a demon that's going to put this into a 38400 mode instead of a 921600 so now when we connect we should get numbers on the screen there we go so that's with the car off let me start it up to the items used in this video will be in the description below. Thanks for watching.